Uh, here's a guy who could run for president. He's got so many friends. You know that P.J. Colismo has more friends than any human being I've ever met? Really? Yeah, I, I hope that he considers me a friend. I know he doesn't like you. I, don't, I think he tolerates me just to get closer to you. P.J., is any of that true? Uh, I like Don. You have no credibility, so I'm not overly worried about what you're saying. So yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> 61 points by LeBron. And it seems like everybody forgets everything that Kevin Durant has done the whole year, and people are saying, well, now LeBron's probably going to win the MVP. I still think it's Durant. What's your take? Agreed. Uh, I, I think it's KD still. I think it's close. I, you know, when it was clear-cut KD a couple weeks ago, I was saying, but there's 30 games left. Now there's 20 games left. And, and I, I do think it's still to be decided. I, one of the reasons I – the main reason I like what Kevin's done so far – is his game. It's been so complete. I mean, when you look at the stats, uh, every single category he's in, he's in it like rebounding. You know, he's, he's somewhere in the top 30 or 40, usually in the top 10 in every category. I mean, you know, free throw percentage, three-point percentage, field goal, it, it's unbelievable. And he did it, I, I think, he had to play a longer time without their second-best player. He played close to 30 games without Westbrook, so he the team in a tougher conference. They used to have a better record, but I can't say that anymore. Miami's caught up with them. They might be percentage points ahead. But uh, I think it's going to go to the wire. I think if one of them tails off the rest of the way, they could lose it. Uh, the way it is now, I, I like, I'm like. i prejudiced. I like Kevin. I'd like to see a change. But, um, boy, I tell you, it's splitting hairs. My, I, I guess there's no sentiment for Coase. But if there was ever a year you could have two MVPs, it would be this year. But it seems to me like LeBron has looked at that as a challenge. Then he goes out, then he scores 61 points, and the Heat are playing great. So maybe that's created a bit of a chip on LeBron's shoulders to get him through what should be a, a kind of a, a tiring time here late in the season when you know you're going to the playoffs. Couldn't agree with you more, Don. And he won't admit it because, you know, they're both so politically savvy in what they say. But um, they both have admitted they want the MVP that is meaningful, um, far distant second from winning the championship. But I, I don't think there's any question it's fueled him and I think that's Van Eric Spolster's biggest challenge. Like right before the break, when they went on that West Coast trip, Spoke got out and said, I think after they played Detroit or somebody, he said, hey, it's time for us to impose our will on the season. And because they've been swept, they just, they more than any other team need some psychological ploys to keep them interested. You know, I mean, they're trying to get to a finals for the fourth time, trying to win a third championship. And I think they did it. And I think from the team standpoint, they were tired of people saying they weren't defending as well, they weren't playing as well, and that got them going. And LeBron, I don't think there's any question, uh, whether he'll admit it or not, that all the KD talk, uh, enough of this, let me just you know, make the point again how good I am. And it's confusing everybody because it's hard to imagine two guys having better years than these two are having at the same time. Dominique Wilkins came out and said, I could have scored, I'm 54 years old, I could have scored 40 points against Charlotte that night. They didn't play any defense. Jerry West has said, the game is not nearly as good as it used to be. Are these disgruntled older gentlemen, or is the game not as good as it used to be? They're two of the best players to ever play. It's a little bit diluted because there's so many teams, but um, I would respectfully disagree with both of them. Uh, this guy, The same way I would say, Jerry West and Dominique, I'll go forward 10 more years when guys are bigger, stronger, quicker than they are now. Those guys would always excel because they're, you know, as good as they've ever been. Jerry would go back to Oscar, go back to Will. But you can go backwards with these two. There's not an era that's ever been where Durant and LeBron wouldn't be head and shoulders um, above almost every player in the game. These two guys are so spectacular. And they're so spectacular athletically. That's the thing that I think separates them. You know, I mean, people don't look at basketball the same way. You know, I mean, in swimming and track and all the other sports where it's easy to quantify because of the, the stopwatches, you got, you know, young female, young girls, you know, running times, swimming times that nobody could do 50 years ago. It's crazy to think that basketball is not changing the same way. These guys are bigger and stronger and quicker, and they're harder to defend. And when they do defend, they defend better than the, the old guys used to. It's a different game. I think it's harder now to do what these guys are doing, so I would disagree. All right. The other topic of conversation, the Knicks are 19 games under 500. They lost seven in a row. Not all of these teams they've lost to are so much better than them as far as uh, talent is concerned. So it's one of two things, PJ. They quit or they're just not that good. Which one of the two do you think it is? 
it's a little bit of both. I I, I, I don't think it's clear cut. I, I do. They're clearly better than they're playing down. There's no question about that. Better from a talent standpoint, but the pieces don't fit together, and that's a problem. It doesn't matter, you know, how much talent. I mean, it's like an all-star team. It doesn't always, you know, fit together well. And they're at a point right now where the incentive is just not there. I mean, I you know, I, they they even probably have come to the realization we can't even make the playoffs, or if we do make the playoffs, what difference does it make? Where are we going to go anyhow? And I don't think it's a conscious decision, but I just think that they're they're running in quicksand right now, and it's just it's uh, you know it's it's sad to watch, but um, but I, I think it's both. I, I do think there's still talent, but it doesn't fit together, and I don't think there's any question their incentive's not there anymore.